Hello, and welcome back to another edition of the Medique Trust plugin. My name is Nathaniel P. Wilkerson, and today I just wanted to go over a few more points with the uh, complex roofs and drawing of complex roofs. So yesterday I posted a video um, about complex roof primitives and a few changes to the complex uh, roof drawing tool. So after talking to a few people um, today and yesterday, um, I think it seems imperative that we give the option so that rather than you know just having only the default as the polyline method of selecting points to create these complex roofs that we also um, <clears throat> give the option uh, of using a face as a default method so what I've done I'm going to go here into the complex roof tab in the global settings so I've added one more parameter here this is called the draw mode and you can see I've got a little explanation explanation here. So basically you have two options. You can use the polyline method or you can use the face method. Um, by default, it will be the polyline method when you first open this, but you can change it to the face uh, method of drawing. So I'm going to go ahead and, well, actually it was already set to that, but <clears throat> so what I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate that, I guess. So typically, like in the previous video, you know, you would click on the uh, complex roof draw tool, click rafters, and you would have to use the up arrow to toggle to the face mode uh, of drawing. But now, because I, in the global settings I've set to the face mode, already automatically it's set to that mode. Now, <clears throat> doesn't mean you can't toggle back and forth. So if I click the up arrow, you know, now I'm in the polyline mode, and, you know, it wants me to select points, right? which I can do, but I'm going to jump out of that. I just hit, I just basically hit the up arrow again if I want. And now I'm back into the uh, face mode. But again, <clears throat> you can set the global settings so that face mode is default, or you can uh, set it to polyline mode. And so polyline mode will be default. So well, let's just go ahead and demonstrate. And we got a little simple roof here. Let's click that again. And there's another roof and then quickly that. Okay, so now you can see it's very quick. Uh, there's no having to toggle back and forth. If I want to use the face mode, I can quickly generate roofs. So I think that's a positive thing and maybe makes things a little more efficient and quicker. I'm just going to delete those real quick. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, the one thing I did also change, and you just may have just noticed that as I use the tool. Um, so when you go in the face mode, you're going to notice that as you mouse over you can highlight different vertices of these um, faces, right? So you may be asking, well, what is all that for? And basically what it's doing is when you, when you draw a roof, um, basically it, there's, you know, there's a, an array of points that, that basically define that outline, right? And so <clears throat> depending on where the start point is, that will be basically your roof plane A and then clockwise or counterclockwise wrapping around the roof. It'll be A, B, C, D, E, right? So this allows you to specify where your start point is. So if I go into this corner right here and I go ahead and click that roof, notice that this says roof 28-A. So this is roof plane A. And then it wraps around B, C, D, E. So let's try another I'll go with that. I'm going to go ahead and this time let's go over here maybe and we'll do this. So you ask, well then how do we know which what roof plane it is? So the way the complex roof module works is it always wraps around the perimeter in a counterclockwise fashion. So if this is your start point, then your uh, initial roof plane will be right here. So if we go like that, Notice that now that's roof plane A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And likewise, any of these other ones, we can demonstrate the same uh, concept. So if I want this south or south facing um, <coughs> roof plane to be roof plane A, then I would check uh, the vert vertice on the, or vertex on the uh, left side of that roof plane. So then I get roof plane A, B, C, D. Okay, so that's basically what the purpose of that little highlighting is of the corners of these uh, planes. So let's go ahead and just show you one more time. Notice that that's roof plane A. 
All right, uh, I think that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, this this is just kind of an addendum to the uh, previous uh, tutorial video on roof planes and drawing roof planes and primitives. I just wanted to update it slightly because of uh, some feedback from customers. Also, I did make the tool a little bit more robust and has a little bit more error checking involved now. So if you go ahead and um, you know, you're set in the face mode, if you try to select one of these faces or like this face, um, and, and notice it will highlight and it's it's not uh, you know the normal is not perpendicular to the z-axis um, it will basically do nothing I mean you can click it but so basically you need to have a face that is on the XY plane <clears throat> and then it will um, it will draw the roof all right guys well thank you so much for your feedback um i like that you know the feedback comes in and then i'm able to make a few adjustments and make things even more efficient and better for you guys so as always thank you for your support and we will talk to you guys later